Hi, I'm Mrs. C, and today we're going to be talking about ordering numbers, or putting numbers in order from smallest to biggest. And you should have watched my other video on ordering numbers already, because today we're going to do the same, but with some of the numbers missing. Let's get started. I'm going to start by putting up our number line up at the top, and you can see numbers 0 through 10 in order, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then I'm going to put three numbers down, number 5, number 1, number 3. They are not in order, and we're going to have to figure out how to put them into order. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our first number, number 5, and we're going to find that number on the number line, and we're going to make a line to that to that place on the number line. So there you can see number five is connected to the number five on the number line. We'll do the same with number one and then the same with number three. And now we're going to move our numbers so that they're in line with their numbers on the number line. So let's do first number one since it's first on our number line. And then we'll get rid of that red line. And now we'll do number three. We'll move that directly underneath the number three on the number line and number five. And now, since our numbers are in line with the number line, we know that they're in order from smallest to biggest. Number one is smallest, number three is bigger, and number five is the biggest of the three numbers we have here. Let's try it again with three new numbers, four, nine, and seven. We're going to line them up with those numbers on the number line. There you can see number four is directly beneath the number four on the number line, and we'll do the same with number nine and number seven. And so now we know that they are in order from smallest to biggest. Number four is smallest, then number seven is a bit bigger, and then number nine is the largest. Let's try this again. This time we're going to use some number cards. Here's number one, number four, seven, nine, and five, and finally number three. They are not in order. Let's see, we're going to look at our number line and we'll see if we can find a number card for number zero. Do you see a number zero? I don't either. Let's see, do we have a number one? Yep, we do, so let's put that one first. Now let's see if we have a number two card. Do you see a number two card anywhere in there? I don't. But how about number three? Here's a number three and a number four, and we have number five. Can you find a number six? I don't see one. Number seven? Yep, there it is. Number eight? I don't see a number eight. How about number nine? There it is. So now we have our numbers in order from smallest to biggest. Number one is the smallest, then three, then four, then five, then seven, and then nine. Let's try this again. Here's our number line again, and here's some different numbers. Six, two, eight, seven, one, ten, zero, and five, and they are not in order. Do we have a zero? There it is. And do we have a number one? Yep. And a number two? I don't see a number three. I don't see a number four, but here's five, here's six, here's seven, eight, and finally ten. There was no number nine in there. So now we have our numbers ordered from smallest to biggest, with zero being the smallest and ten being the biggest, and all the others in between. Now you know how to order numbers even when some of the numbers are missing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.